if I'm press play. <laughs> very very horrible like it's not coming out clean welcome this is bitbender studio so we're going to be talking about how to get the best audio extracted from your akai mpc live especially if you're working in standalone mode and you are outdoor we'll be right back like you already know um akai mpc live 2 for now is the only um mpc family that has a speaker which means you can actually use outdoor standalone the mpc live does not have a speaker there's only one for now that has a speaker and now the, the the truth is some some producers right and the truth is some producers out there want to go out they want to go with this device maybe like to an outdoor uh let's say a park or something and then just make music and you want their followers to actually listen or watch how they're doing it or how it's been done so let's be honest your mic there's a limit to the amount of detail it can capture, especially when the song is coming out or when the music is coming out from a speaker like this. Talk less of the bigger speakers. You and you actually want to be able to to let your audience see the full, get the full picture of exactly what is coming out and you know how you're doing it. Probably you got your camera or your phone to start recording the video, and you need the audio also to go along with what you're doing. Um, so this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna introduce you to basically what I use. Let me show you. Hello there. Do you like a bit of pieces of the content that we're sharing on this platform? Why not kindly help us by hitting the subscribe button? Also, hit the bell icon so you're notified if anything new comes up. And at the same time, you can just um, basically help us to share. Welcome back. This is what I use. Um, I have a Zoom. This one is actually the H4N Pro. It's awesome. Uh, and it's not expensive. In fact, it's considered to be cheaper than the you know, regular sound card in there. You know. So now, basically what we're trying to look at is how best... Can I capture my audio coming out from the archive into this Zoom? So I figured out, you know what? Why not just I get a cable like this, right? Why not just get a cable like this? Um, maybe like a TRS to XLR. And then if I connect this to my masters out, uh, then I can connect this directly to the mic input. But now the, the truth is, the audio that is coming out from the line, that is the, the, the signal that is coming out from the line, is too hot if you are going to lay it or send it directly into the zoom. So what we're trying to do is how best can we convert that signal that is coming out from the line into the mic and then balance it out. So um, let's try that out. Let me, let me just show you something. Uh, let me see. Master in right and i have this in here now right now as you can see it's still only the le the right right it's still only the right side that is currently you know receiving signal because that's basically what i'm is recording my voice right now uh because i like i said earlier i've, I've separated the audio and I'm, I'm the the channels i made it to work independently so i can set my my audio or uh, the the gain level of each of those sides independently i haven't connected this the masters as the line output into the microphone of the the handy recorder that's zoom am the H h4n pro right now the input level on two is 50 and the input level on one is 10 which is this particular one is 10 and even at that if i'm press play <laughs> sounds very very horrible like it's not coming out clean basically the reason is simple you are trying to send a line to a mic and because of the difference in that frequency you're going to have a problem with the audio even if you reduce because as you can see my um my input level on left is it at 10 even if i take it to one you're still going to get the same output while the um the output on the input on the right is at 50. that is what i'm talking i'm speaking with right now so basically what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a piece of device that can actually balance this audio coming out and going into your device because if you want to play outside you want to do anything outdoor and you want to go with as less 
equipment as possible and as portable as possible if you go with your sound um, card you are still going to need something be like a laptop or another device to now start recording for people to see but then you want to just be able to set up you know something compact put everything on the table and everything works fine without any extra power this is already battery powered your zoom is already battery powered and now that we've connected these basically so what next and that is where this device comes in so this is the sure line impute adapter 100k impute and then with 50 decibel attenuation so basically what we do is this this is a wonderful piece of equipment um what this equipment does is it will help you i just picked it up so we can as well call it the unboxing of this particular device in itself but, but let's just try it once let's try it out together and see if what they say about it is actually true um the manual like i always tell you and they want to read manuals i've read the manual online and um it's also included and yes so let me just keep this somewhere here for now right this what this does is it takes your line what is coming from the line and then sends it out on the other side and basically what you get is a balanced audio that is good enough for mic so instead of me to connect this the mic uh, uh input that is coming from the line out directly to the zoom what i will do is i will connect it to this device and then i can connect this side to my zoom once this is done basically this is all you need once this is done you are good to go the audio that is the the, the, the the um that frequency that is coming out from your line out will be attenuated down by 50 decibel so that it can be on the same range with your microphone impute and that's how this thing just works so now um i'm gonna do less talking right let me keep quiet right now and then i'm gonna play something here again and then let you hear it um while it's at 10 still at 10 and then we'll compare the two together so let's go i'm sure it's very low because it's on 10 but it should be way cleaner so let me increase the volume the impute level Now I'm at 50 and you can see probably still low but way cleaner. Let me increase the volume. Let me increase the impute level again. Now I'm at 80 and I'm sure the audio will be perfectly clean. Don't mind the audio that is playing now it's just a work in progress and all that so and that is still by as you can see the, the the volume of this one is still not just it's just about halfway so if i notch it up here that is way cleaner so stop basically this is a simple setup you can use to catch your recording outdoor without losing so anytime so if i come and i'm I have a video, I have a camera on me and I'm showing people, okay, when you press, when you press this, this is what they hear. How can I know what they're hearing? Basically, it's simple. This this already has its own um, um, headphone. I can put the headphone on and I know exactly what I'm hearing. But for you to also hear exactly and precisely what I'm hearing, not coming through my microphone, which might distort that audio, uh, but coming directly into the Zoom itself, like so, so that you can actually hear, you can hear the full texture of that particular audio or that sound you need to use this kind of you know uh setting and this would greatly work it's a, it, you know, professionally tested if you need to go out there and practice with your device outdoor and you actually want to capture your, the essence in video like and then you need to be able to capture your audio as well as clean as they can or as clean as it is basically what you just need is your zoom it's this this device does a lot for producers like especially if you're the one that the type that goes out and you need your attenuation from sure and basically that's all you need just convert your line straight into this device and let it take care of the rest for you 
that'll be all for now and um we'll definitely take you to the street and then we'll come back and show you what we're able to do with this simple setup outdoor see you in the next one